Apple's strategy is really simple. We want to put an incredibly great computer in a book that you can carry around with you. We don't know how to do that now. It's impossible technically. We had three options. One was to do nothing. The second one was to put a piece of garbage computer in a book. And we can do that, but our competitors are doing that, and so we don't need to do that. The third option was to design the computer that we want to put into the book eventually. And right now, it fits in a bread box and it's $10,000 and it's called Lisa. The next thing we will do is we will find a way to put it in a shoebox and sell it for like $2,500. And finally, we'll find a way to get it in a book and sell it for under $1,000. The M4 MacBook Air is Apple's masterpiece. It's the end goal of Steve Jobs' vision for the notebook 42 years ago. But better than even Steve could imagine, offering a modern design with incredible portability, battery life, reliability, and insane amounts of performance, all for only $750 on Amazon right now. This combination of features and pricing was impossible even just five and a half years ago when Apple dropped their newly redesigned 13-inch Intel MacBook Air pricing down to $999. So what I wanna do in this long-term M4 MacBook Air review is take a trip down memory lane to show you just how spoiled we are with Apple's MacBook pricing and performance these days because what you're about to see is going to blow your mind and make you appreciate the era of tech that we live in today. This was me in 2020 reviewing the new Intel MacBook Air and being impressed that Apple lowered the price to $999 while doubling the storage to 256 gigs. Of course, I had no idea that in 2025, you'd be able to get a much better MacBook Air with Apple Silicon, 16 gigs of RAM, and a much faster chip for only 750 bucks. Believe it or not, the 2020 Intel MacBook Air would hit 100 degrees Celsius and start spitting up his fans from tasks as simple as watching a 4K 60 FPS video on YouTube or simply downloading a game like Fortnite or even opening up just six tabs in Google Chrome. Because I don't know if you remember this or not, but we used to have to worry about which web browser we used because Chrome took up so much RAM and performance. We used to get tons of comments from people complaining about their fans maxing out on this MacBook Air on a Zoom call. I mean, it used to idle at 70 degrees Celsius. Can you believe it? In terms of performance, the base i3 Air would max out at 100 degrees Celsius instantly in Cinebench, despite having a fan and scoring just 619 points. So I decided to install a bunch of the old outdated benchmarks that we used to run back in the day on the new M4 Air to see how it compares these days. In Cinebench R20, the M4 Air scored five and a half times faster, despite being fanless and running through Apple's Rosetta translation software. In terms of single core in Geekbench 5, we have two and a half times faster performance, and then that translates over to web browsing in Speedometer 2.0, can you believe it, 7.9 times higher web browsing score. That means it's that much snappier. In terms of multi-core, six times faster on the new M4 Air for $750. And then moving over to graphics, also six times faster raw graphics power. But when we do a gaming test like GFX Bench, Aztec Ruins, 10 times faster average FPS in that test. That is absolutely mind blowing. And then thankfully back in the day, we did one of our tests that we still do today. That's Logic Pro Music Production. It's a stress test to see how many tracks you can run without overloading. Well, the 2020 Intel Air only ran nine tracks. And guess what? This M4 Air, 130 tracks at the same time. That's over 14 times more. Can you believe just how much progress we've had in the last five and a half years? And yes, we've already compared the M4 Air to the M1 Air and it blows it away being over two times faster in basically every single test. So much of us have honestly been spoiled by Apple Silicon and it's crazy to think of just how many people out there still have that old Intel-based Apple 
image or mindset in their head when they see this new $750 M4 MacBook Air until, of course, they try it out for themselves and are blown away at how quick and snappy it is. For example, audio producer Lodvik Voss, whose AirPod Pro 3 review went viral on YouTube, a few months before that, he bought the new M4 Air to use as basically just a simple web browsing and business laptop, but then he decided to try out a couple of his music production tests on the air and he was absolutely blown away as it was handling almost everything that he threw at it and he admitted that he had no idea that Apple MacBook Airs were now this capable. So on that note, let's take this video up a notch by not only comparing the Air to the old Intel Air models, which we know it's obviously much faster, let's actually see how this compares to the best of the best Intel MacBook Pro models that we had back in 2021, which back then, the highest end model was the Intel i9 16 inch MacBook Pro with upgrades retailing at almost $4,000. And at that time, that was your only choice for the fastest and most reliable MacBooks that you could get for real world productivity work. In terms of Cinebench R23's CPU multi-core stress test, which obviously a fanless laptop is not very great at, this was still 33% faster than that $4,000 i9 MacBook Pro. But then it got even better in real world workflows like Lightroom Classic, where I exported 500 42 megapixel raw photos, which is a test we still do to this day. And believe it or not, the M4 Air for $750 is over twice as fast. And yes, that MacBook Pro was over five times more cash and people back in the day were buying them left and right, asking us which upgrades we recommend to spend their cash on. And now, can you believe that you could get a $750 MacBook Air that can do that same task in less than half the time while being completely fanless. And then moving on to the most common video editing codec test that people do these days, including us, it's a five minute 4K HVC export. Guess what? The M4 Air finishes in two minutes compared to three minutes and three seconds on that old MacBook Pro. And then finally for Logic Pro music production, testing out how many tracks can run this MacBook Air ran more, 130 versus only 97 on that top of the line $4,000 Intel i9 MacBook Pro. To be completely honest, I myself wouldn't have believed you back in 2021 if you told me that an Apple Silicon MacBook Air would, within less than five years, be able to outperform a fully specced out 16 inch MacBook Pro in every single metric for only $750 new on Amazon, all while getting much better battery life and a better overall experience. But here we are in 2025 being completely spoiled by Apple's massive advancements in Apple Silicon efficiency, performance, and cost cutting measures to be able to get this down to just $750. So over the past nine months since Apple released the M4 MacBook Air, I am now fully convinced that this is the best value laptop of all time allowing people to not only get a super reliable laptop, but actually be able to do performance-based tasks faster than we used to do it back in the day on $4,000 MacBook Pros. The design's incredible, the build quality is top-notch, the resale value is unmatched. You simply cannot get anything better at this price point, and it's crazy to think that we're about to get a $600 MacBook next year that'll truly knock the socks off of the laptop market. So Apple, bravo for everything you've achieved over the past five years. You fulfilled Steve Jobs' dream of an incredible notebook under $1,000 that can do it all, and as for you, Thanks for watching, and don't forget to be thankful for being able to live in this era of incredibly inexpensive and capable tech 
like the M4 MacBook Air. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Definitely subscribe for more videos like this one and check out one of those two right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.